The Chinese balloon was shot down by the U.S. fighter jets after it was alleged as a spy balloon by the U.S., increasing the tensions between U.S. and China. In an update to our previous dispatch, the U.S. has shot down an alleged Chinese spy balloon over the territorial waters, which was hovering over the continental U.S. The Chinese foreign ministry said that this was not a surveillance balloon, but a civilian airship used for the weather research and deviated from its course due to the winds. It called the U.S. move an overreaction and stated that this action by the U.S. has seriously impacted both sides' efforts and progress in stabilizing the relationship. Since the November 15th meeting in Bali by President Xi and President Biden in the sidelines of the G20 summit, this balloon crisis has given rise to many questions. The primary question is, why did Washington decide to publicize this balloon incident and not the previous ones. Especially when Pentagon spokesperson Pat Ryder stated that this balloon did not present any military or physical threat and that balloons had crossed over the U.S. border in the past, including having been sighted near these sensitive military installations in Hawaii. If that is the case, why resort to military action to neutralize the object? This incident and its publicity have led to the postponement of Antony Blinken's scheduled visit to Beijing and also put future efforts to stabilize their relations at a risk. From the looks of it, there is a narrative war going on between the two countries. Here is how the balloon gate panders to the narrative and would likely impact the US-China relations. 1. The US seems to be signaling its unwillingness to sit down for serious talks, especially with this incident having been blown out of proportion when the balloon caused no real threat right when the U.S. Secretary of State was going to have a high-level visit for the first time since 2018. This comes at a time when President Joe Biden is blasted domestically by the Republican House majority for taking a weaker stance against China, with many U.S. politicians and military officials personally making statements about a possible war between the countries by 2027. President Biden could use this incident as a way to deflect domestic pressure. And two, the issue of Taiwan poses a major threat to the stability in the relations between these two countries. The U.S. has been actively increasing the military ties in the Indo-Pacific region, such as its recent military understandings with Japan, Australia, India, and South Korea, with military alliances such as Quad, AUKUS, and others. Not only this, the U.S. is increasing the access to military bases, such as the recent procurement of four military bases in the Philippines and close to Taiwan, while revamping the old ones in Okinawa, Japan. While the U.S. accuses China of sending surveillance balloons, the U.S. itself has been actively following the policy of containment against China. If China chose to retaliate, it could do so against U.S. assets in South China Sea or Taiwan. The U.S. has also previously held surveillance exercises in China, such as the Hainan Island incident, where a U.S. spy plane collided with a Chinese fighter jet in April 2001. While China milked the incident to embarrass the U.S. back then, it is likely that the U.S. would do the same to China now. It would further give the U.S. an opportunity to promote the narrative of an expansionist China, which will hamper any progress on the de-escalation and would further increase confrontational politics. I'm Tayyab Anasar Khan, and this was your Daily Dispatch.